Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to integrate the OAS MQTT Broker with Node-RED. The MQTT Broker is a newer product feature of Open Automation Software. OAS allows you to pull in data from a wide variety of data sources. It has direct drivers for Allen Bradley, Siemens, Modbus, OPC DA and UA, MT Connect, Azure, and AWS. You can also bring in data programmatically from .NET, REST APIs, and a wide variety of databases, including SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, and MongoDB. If you need to install Node-RED, you can do so by following the instructions here. You will also need to have the Node-RED dashboard installed for this tutorial. Instructions for setting that up can be found here. Once you have all of that installed and running, open up your browser and go to your Node-RED editor. Mine is at localhost colon 1880. You should see a section in the left menu for the dashboard. Next, from the network section in the left menu, drag an MQTT in icon out onto the flow. Open Automation Software acts as an MQTT broker, making it extremely simple to connect to your data with Node-RED. Double click on the MQTT in icon to bring up the properties menu on the right. In the server dropdown, choose Add New MQTT Broker, then click the pencil icon next to it. The connection properties box appears and we need to specify the IP address of our OAS MQTT Broker. Mine is running on my local host, so I will just enter 127.0.0.1 and I will name it Local Service and click Add. In the Topic box, enter the name of the OAS tag you want to connect to. I want to access the value of the tank1 tag I have in my service, so I am going to enter tank1.value. Please note that it is case sensitive. If the tag was inside of a group like this pump tag, I would preface the tag name with the group name like this, tanks.pump.value. You can access any property of the tag as well, not just the value. If I wanted the data type of the pump tag, I would enter tanks.pump.datatype. For output type, I'm going to select parse JSON object. Next, I'm going to add a debug node to the flow and connect it to our MQTT in node. Now let's deploy the flow and switch over to the debug tag in the right pane. It is the little bug icon here. Now we can see the JSON message coming in from our MQTT broker in the debug window. OAS sends data in a standard JSON format that includes the value, timestamp, and data quality. Here is a sample message. Next, we are going to use a split node to separate the message out into individual values. I will drag one out into our flow, connect it to the MQT in node, double click it to access the properties window, and check copy key to message topic. Done. Next, I will use a switch node to route the split values into different directions. Again, I will drag it out onto the flow, connect it to the split node, and double click it to access the properties window. I will change the property to message.topic. The first value I want is value. Then I will add two more down here with the add button and enter timestamp and quality and click done. Let's see what we've got. I will move the debug node over here now and connect it to the first value on the switch node and hit deploy. Now we can see the value coming out by itself in the debug window. Next, let's display the value of tank1 on the Node-RED dashboard. I'm going to go down to the dashboard menu and choose this gauge control. I will connect it to the tank1 value and then double click on it to pull up the properties window. I will click the pencil icon next to the group box and call this one demo group. Under type, I will select level. For the label, I will enter tank one and I will enter feet for units. I will set the max to 100 and click done and then deploy. 
By default, the address for the dashboard is localhost colon 1880 forward slash UI. Let's pull that up in another tab. We can see our level being displayed now. It is pulling the data directly from our OAS configuration and updating it in real time. It was that simple. Now, let's put a button on the screen to write back to OAS. I will pull out this switch button and double click on it to pull up the properties window. I will leave it in our demo group and change the label to pump. The pump tag I have in my configuration is a Boolean and this switch is already set to toggle the value back and forth from true to false. Next, I will pull an MQTT out node onto the flow. This will allow us to write back to OAS with the button. I will connect it to the button and now let's configure it. I will leave the server set to my local service and change the topic to pump.value. I will say done and deploy it. The dashboard automatically updates and we can see our new switch. Here is our pump tag in the configuration. It is a Boolean tag and is currently set to false. Our dashboard switch also is in the off position. Now, as I switch the switch to the on position, you will see the pump tag is now true. Let me do that a couple more times. We have just used the Node Red dashboard to write to our OAS configuration via the OAS MQTT broker. And, just as importantly, if this pump tag were configured to read from a real pump from, say, your Siemens or Allen Bradley PLC, OAS would write the value from Node Red to your PLC. Pretty powerful. For more information about using open automation software with Node Red, see the Node Red Getting Started tutorial at openautomationsoftware.com. Then click Support, Knowledge Base, Data Destinations, Node Red Getting Started. For more information on open automation software, please visit our website at www.openautomationsoftware.com.